When the OSPF process starts, the router creates a database. This is the Link State Database, or LSDB. This stores OSPF topology information. This means routers and the links that join them. This is the map of the network, with paths from one router to another. The first thing the router adds is its own OSPF information, such as its router ID and any connected routes. As neighbor relationships form, the router adds more information. Let's take a look at an LSDB. We can do this with the show IP OSPF database command. Here we see the entries in the LSDB. Each piece of information is called a link. Router link states is the first section. This is information about OSPF routers in the network. We have three routers in the topology, so there are three entries here. Net link states is the second section. These are the links that connect the routers together. In our case, there are three links joining the three routers. In more complex networks, there would be more sections than only these two, but we don't need to worry about those right now. Let's instead look at how OSPF synchronizes the database contents between the routers. A neighbor will come online and build neighbor relationships. When it does this, it triggers the synchronization process. A router will advertise each link, that is, each entry in the database, to their neighbors. It does this using a message called a link state advertisement, or LSA. OSPF has a few different packet types that it uses for communication. The LSA itself is the data structure within those packets. One type of packet is the database descriptor, or DBD. This contains a summary of the database. This is a lightweight way of telling a neighbor about each network without burdening it with detail. This is efficient because the neighbor can ask for more information if it wants it, or leave it alone. Upon receiving a DVD, a router will look at the summary to see if there's any networks it can learn about. If there are networks it hasn't yet learned about, it will ask for more information. It does this using a packet called the link state request, or LSR. LSRs selectively ask for more information about specific networks, not the entire database. The router that receives this request will send back link state update packets. DBD packets only contain LSA headers to summarize network information. LSUs, though, contain full LSAs. That is, they contain detailed information about requested links. Routes, next hops, and their metrics go into a separate table. And finally, routers need to acknowledge that they receive this information. This uses a link state acknowledgement packet. When the database is up to date, the router can run the shortest path first algorithm. This finds the best paths through the network. For each destination network, OSPF offers the best paths to the routing table. There are two other uses for LSAs other than building a new database. One is for any change in the network, for example, when adding or removing links. The other is for an LSA refresh. Every 30 minutes, the router sends LSA refresh messages to be sure that the OSPF databases are still in sync. I've decided to throw a few tricky questions at you this time. If you need to, go back and review this section, but I'm sure you can work through them. 